You will not accept this. It was your doing, yours. And now you would refuse to accept the consequences? Accept it? How could you expect me to accept it? Lon takes the fall? While I cower in my fake world? I mean, this is my fault as much as it is his. He shouldn't have to pay my share. Who do I tell I'm sorry? Our mom and dad? Then I will ask you again. Will you, or will you not accept the consequences? I will not! Not these! Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives, and give you a chance to continue your tale differently, and weave the threads of time anew. Life sacrifice acknowledged. Now time shall be threaded anew. Bong. Bong. Postscript. Turn those corners up. Huh? All right. Let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up. Wait! What, what's gotten into you? Just wait. What, where's Tama? Tama? What's that? Our friend. Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives and give you a chance to continue your tale differently and weave the threads of time anew. No way. Was that her back there? That was Tama? Uh, hey, Lon, you really don't know who I mean? Tama's our friend. This whole journey, she's been by our side. What? I have no idea what you're saying. What is wrong with you? You're acting so weird. Well, I've never seen her behave like this. Usually Lon's the one who acts like he got punched in the back of the head. Uh, Seraphy? But you, you can't be here. Huh? What? Why would you freak out about Seraphy? Come on, she's the one who's been by our side. Seriously, do you want to rest a sec? Seraphy, you know her. You love Tama. Someone named Tama? Wait, I think I've got it. Could it be short for Tama Mohime? I have no idea where you might have heard the name. But it sure does take me back to the old days. All right. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going up there to kick some Baja butt. No! Huh? Careful. Tama gave her lives for this chance. It's a new timeline. I can't waste it. We're not ready to do this. But why not? Lon, think about it. Why did we come here in the first place? You remember? What did we say we were gonna do? What is this, a pop quiz? Answer the question. Well, if you mean the first reason, um, and a crow told us that if we got back all of the mirages we lost, then we might regain our memories and maybe meet our family, right? That's right. Taking down the Federation? That wasn't in the plan. Well, of course it wasn't. We didn't even know they existed yet. And anyway, you and me are the ones who brought those Cogna things into Grimoire. It's our mess to clean up. Even if it means fighting mom and dad? And having to sacrifice your life in the end? Dude, what? You really have lost it. Lon, defeating those guys? It won't save the world. No good will come of it. 
What happens to us? To you? Would you stop getting so worked up? You're not making any sense. The Cogna. We'll stop them. Huh? Well, yeah, we can do that too, but since we're here, let's fight these guys. I told you that won't work. It's pointless. First, we need to close the portal. Which means collecting more mirages, more getting stronger, and more owning up to what we've done. Hello, Rain? Mom, Dad. <laughs> we have to straighten things out with Wen too. And then... Okay, I think it's time we'll that we... get the mirages, get stronger, and close that portal! You can kick their butts after we do all that. Hold your chocobos. Don't forget, people are losing their souls. Yes, so let's hurry. Mirage collecting and the portal. Oh, and we have to call Wind back from the castle. Hey, Seraphie, do you know anything about that mirage that Wind summons? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. That'd be none other than Siren. She comes from the same world of Wind Pixies that I do. You and her are both from the same world? Well, then can you contact her and see if she's with Wind? As long as she's somewhere in Grimoire, then I'd say it's doable. Great. Would you? Okity dokity. Be back in a micro mega flash. Oh, wait. Also, tell her we're sorry for what we did, trapping her for so long, will you? I know that sorry's not enough, but. Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, boss. Rain, what's up? You know something. I'll try to explain. But on the way, we're going to Balam Garden. Hey, let's go wait on the deck. Oh my goodness. Hey there, folks. We're in EMT here, and welcome back to Let's Play World of Final Fantasy. In the last part, we had a not so happy. Or not so happy ending, but we've redone time. Now we're back here. So let's go to the deck for more cutscenes. So, how's it going? Thanks, Quizzes. Thanks. Tell me one thing. This time. Do you remember what you two were like and the terrible things you did? Yes, a lot of it anyway. But we're ready. We're going to collect our mirages and face all of our mistakes head on. <sighs> all right then. So why did you call me back? If we have the final showdown now, our fam, you and us won't make it. It's not going to be the outcome that we're hoping for. You don't know that. It hasn't even- I do know! Look. I was there. Please. Don't fight the Heralds yet. Help us save Grimoire first. We could really, really use your help. Do you have a plan? We're going to use the portal. The Ultima Gate? What do you want with that? If you're thinking about opening it again. No, it would never work without you, Wynn. Well, actually, we need all of the summoners for it to work. Lon is right. Summoners have the power to bring mirages from other worlds into this one. Basically, they create a bridge between two worlds. But so can you. In fact, the power is stronger in Mirage Keepers. Don't look at me. I'm just regurgitating all the stuff that Rain told me she remembers now. A Mirage Keeper's powers, they're not like those of a summoner's. We trap mirages, using miniature worlds that are created by real architects, like our father. And once they're confined, we can release them. And at that point, they're ours to command at will. But to pull that off, you need to bend the rules. And only breakers like our mother can do that. Is that true? So then, your parents' talents, they became yours. To wield any mirage? Yes. And there's more to it. Breakers can extract power from any of their mirages, and then add it to their own. So the more we find, the stronger me and Rain can make ourselves. 
We didn't give it much thought when we were collecting them back then, but in fact, we stole our mom's power along with her mirages. Wait. If you can't... If Keepers can't actually connect two worlds... Yeah. When I summoned Brandalis, I, uh... I sort of had to borrow your powers when I used the crystal cage. That explains it. I could feel it, too. It's like the cage. It was drawing the strength right out of me. And while I was trapped in there, the Heralds could draw on my power. And even poses me. Wait a minute. Then, did they? Yes. They slowly deceived the world with the Crimson Prophecy, so that Lawn would restore the gate. And by gathering up the other summoners, again, they managed to create a bridge. Right. That explains a lot of things. Okay. So going back. The Ultimate Gate. Why do you need it? It's too late to destroy it. We know. Even if we do, or take out Brandalis, then we're still stuck with a world full of Cogna we can't get rid of. So, we'll reverse it. What? Right. We hope, if we reverse the flow... It'll send the Cogna and Heralds back where they came from. So please, if you and the Summoners help us, we can do this, Alwyn. I... Uh... I know that after all we've done, we don't have any right to ask this. I'll but... do it. Huh? Honestly, I'm not so sure about your plan. It might work like you say. And then again, it might not. But I feel like it's something worth trying. Still. Yes. They'll come after us if they catch on. It's more than that. The Heralds are using your we parents... We know that. But you can trust me. Trust us to take care of it. <sighs> okay. When you feel you're ready, say the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, When I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. You can call me Wynn. <laughs> it feels too strange, Alwyn, coming from you two. Uh... <clears throat> hey, maybe there's a chance. This arm's gonna bring the world some joy. I know it. New wares are available at the Choco Latte Mart. FYI, if you're looking for some more mirages, don't forget which pixie's rocking the old rumor radar. Oh good, she's still rocking that rumor radar. Anyways, on that note, let's actually go talk with Seraphie. Which means, let's head for Ninewood Hills. And see what she has to say for us. Phew, that was a load of cutscenes to start this video off with. Hey, Lon, do you remember the Pleiad? The Pleiad? What's a Pleiad? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but... Remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what Pleiad means then? Pleiad. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. So, speaking of which, hey, Seraphie. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something strange? Huh? Like what? Am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now? What do you mean now? Please. You know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both. I can't carry the prison case everywhere we go, but we can access it from safe locations. And you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle? Huh? Well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Ninewood Hills every time. 
Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with the sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphie in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. All right. There was some girl here the other day looking for you two. I didn't recognize her, but she was holding a teacup. Anyway, she said you two have been given the power to touch the souls of many. So you should stop by and visit her at your earliest convenience. Oh, but, uh, sorry. She didn't leave an address. Well then, I think we know who that is. But first, let's go see what Choco Latte has for us. And she has new wares. The best is yet in store. Might even be in mine. Welcome to the... Ch X potions that cost 10,000 a pop. And Phoenix Pinions, uh, we've got a good chunk of those. Um, what else have we got here? Um, I... Okay, we've got the August seeds as well. I'm gonna grab some spider silks. And anything else cool? No. But let's grab a couple elf boxes. We're here. So why not? You know what? Fine. Couple X potions. Anyway, let's head for the girls' tea room. Hey there. Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? So, other than Bridges was, we have a new intervention. Okay, shall we do that real quick? Sure, why not? Alright, let's conquer Radio's Fear of Flames. You must face your fears in order to overcome them. In Radio's case, that means walking into Valley 7 and facing the biggest, fast burning hunk of mirage she can find. Luckily, she has Yuna with her for emotional support. So you came here to train and try to conquer your fears. That's great. How do I put this? The others are doing so much. I don't want to keep getting in their way all the time. Well, why don't I help you out, if that's all right? Huh? Oh, no. Not when you are so busy, my lady. But you're doing something important that I want to be a part of. Please, let me help out. You and I are summoners. We should stick together. Oh, Lady Yuna. You're too kind. So, you say there's an adversary here that represents all of your fears? Mm. Not long ago, I started sensing a powerful fire entity here. Even the other mirages seem intent on keeping a healthy distance. You're right. I can feel its presence. Lydia, will you be okay? Yes. If I'm going to overcome my fears for good, I need to go up against the fiercest flames I can find. All right, then. Here we go, Rydia. There's something wrong with her soul. Tell me, who are you supposed to be? You mean that you don't know? Every moron has heard of Efrita, duh! Efrita? Yep. You might say that I'm the girl who puts all the heat back in Efrit. Tell me you didn't come all the way down here by accident. So you're in Efrit. 
Well, good. You're just what I'm looking for. Fight me. Help me beat my fear of fire. One fight, that's all I ask. Oh, sister, please. You're afraid of fire? Oh, no way. Well, you're not gonna last too long against a scorcher like me. But why not? You have such a lovely soul, after all. Lucky for you, I would be delighted to take it off your hands. Lady Yuna, get ready! Hold up. What happened to the wimps I was gonna destroy? So it's you. You're the Afrit that escaped from the nebula. Wait, what's the deal here? Have you two been hunting me down? Hmm, yeah, something like that. Hmm. Your souls. I can't put my finger on it, but... Ooh, they're making my mouth water. <laughs> You're kidding. Are you saying you feed on people's souls? There's nothing better than a soul on the coals, releasing all its flavor as it flickers out. <laughs> that is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Hey, Rain, tell me we're gonna teach her a good lesson. Yeah, we have to do something about her, that's for sure. Give me a break. You don't think you can actually take me? Oh, that is way too good. Well, whatever. It's time to chow down. All right, let's do a Libra. I mean, it is a Frida with 20,000 HP. Absorbs fire, of course, but weak to both ice and water and a little bit of dark. Okay. Of course, ice and water means this stack. So let's do water. -a. It's more MP efficient. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Unfortunately, I think Sparag is. Ah, it doesn't hurt too bad. Anyway. We know what Keegan Trot's doing. Meadows! Eh, could have done better. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Okay, that hurt a little bit more. That definitely hurt a little bit more. Um, I thought I'd grab some high potions sometime. Anyway, let's water her. And I guess you're just defending because that's what you do. Let's do a little bit of healing now. As we try and get our needle in. Middle AP back. Um, not too concerned about that HP right now. But the good news is, let's middle. <laughs> Just like that. We did it. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, beetles can kind of just, you know, kill enemies sometimes. 54,000 HP, uh, HP, XP. Oh my goodness. Fire spellstone, 2200 gil. What the way? How could I lose to a couple of stupid pinch hitters like you? I've never felt heat that intense before. It's like she was trying to burn away everything but my soul. <sighs> yes. With a mirage that dangerous, Luce, no one in Grimoire would have been safe. But see, we managed to stop her from hurting anyone. And it's all because of you. D don't be silly. Without your help, Lady Yuna, I would have. <laughs> you really should have more confidence in yourself. You fought so well. Now, before we come across even more trouble, shall we go? <sighs> yes, that seems wise. <laughs> Where did they all come from? <laughs> Lydia? Uh, I guess overcoming your fear of fire will just have to be an ongoing project. Come on, last one to the exit is a rotten egg. What? Hey, wait! Lady Yuna, no fair! 
You tried, Rydia. You tried. Jiba unlocks Soul Eater. Anyway. Shall we get started? What I don't is? think you have any more interventions for us besides that one. Well, let's turn in Fire Drill to pick up Ifrita Memento. And two hot potions. Yeah, that's all we've gotten there, so, well. Goodbye. Bye. You. What now? Do not have anything for me? You know, I bet it is. I might need. Let's talk with Seraphy. I don't remember exactly what we need here, but we might need to go fight Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu in the Coliseum. Hey, Seraphy. Rumor radar. Oh, mighty mill of rumors! Talk to me. Um, more Coliseum whisperings. Bring the fire and ice mirages on board was the right move. I could feel the Coliseum crackling with energy when they faced off against the twins. Still, why is it they seem so skittish around mirages that wield thunder? They're not weak against it. Okay. Let's check the Blee Gate agent. Jen Sumner is in the hood, is. In the hood is a babe. How do I break the ice? Well, she likes to tell her an old man. I don't think I think of it. Didn't Quizzes say the two of them were going to visit the old giant city? They could take along and, uh, who am I kidding? I don't know the first thing about fighting. That superpower mirage that's been sighted in the area was fry me to a crisp. Mog's major breakthrough? Hip hip hooray, Kubo! Finally, finally, I found that despicable mirage Captain Ferris has been searching for all these years. Kubo, no more chasing dead ends. Kubo, this time Captain Ferris will have a vengeance. Kubo! Uh, Butcher? Did you hear? Some horrible butchers on the prowl up in the mountains have been cutting down travelers at random. Can you imagine? You better stay at home and keep those doors locked. At least the others have sent for help. When the League of Es- Once the League of Es gets here, they'll put that dreadful monster in his place. Won't they? And Dr. Kadawaki's headache. Don't tell me you haven't heard about what's going on around here. A demon has been appearing in Balaam Garden. Always the same hour and dragging the poor folks he meets into the throes of a nightmare. I don't know how much truth there is in it. All I know is he's been scaring my patient. Is he scaring my patients? I hope someone puts him in his place soon. Um the little heads up there. The prism case can only hold so much, so watch your capacity. Because if you let the case overflow then. Let's just say nothing at all because I don't want to scare you. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I think we might need to go do Coliseum. Because she ain't talking to us. What now? See? Yeah, so let's. After the call to you, I guess. I don't quite remember exactly what we need to do here. A little hazy, but... What? I guess I need... There. Alright. Fine. Tell me what you desire. Into the Coliseum. Anyways, we need to find that Ramu battle. There's also some new ones that have popped up. Alright. The ice... Okay. Hot, hot, hot Zember Warmheart Ice sculpt, Sculpture Collector Responsible One. Let's start with Hot Zember Warmheart. Let's begin. I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it. Alright, so it's just Ifrit. But it's Ifrit. With Help? Oh? Yeah, fire attacks. Ah, uh, I think we already have it. So we're gonna have to fight him normally. Yeah, we already imprisoned him before. But we're gonna have to fight Ifrit normally. So Treat it exactly like we did a Frida with more weakness to our stuff. Shouldn't be 
too hard. If Needles cooperates, that would be a great first step, actually. I'm just gonna attack. And... Because water is kind of ripping it. I'm not too concerned. Let's do a water. Yeah. This should take it for it down. No, it doesn't. Fine. This should take it for it down. It does. Okay, sweet. Well, that ought to do it. Oh, yeah. And we get an Ifrit Memento. Oh, oh. Let's do Shiva. I think we're gonna do the same deal in Shiva. I'm hoping I'm right here. I might have to actually look up what we need to do next. Let's begin. Okay, here we go. I won't hold. Um, we should already have the yeah. Okay, fire and dark. Fortunately, I don't. I don't know we have Dira, except it's probably more reliable than needles. Maybe more reliable than needles. We need to build up grudge. So I guess we're attacking. That helps build up grudge, I suppose. Maybe needles would have been better. Hmm. Oh well. Too late now. Um this is more consistent damage. Needles would have just been more random damage. Let's try a grudge. It's not gonna be too much, but eh, 2900, that's not bad. Can we Yeah, I was hoping one more grudge would take care of her. That was a good fight. Victory! Anyways, we pick up a Shiva Memento! Oh, oh. That wasn't so bad. Alright. Let's do it. Ramu real quick. Hey Ramu, where are you? There you are. Responsible one! Let's begin. Let's go. Come on, bring it. So, as you might have expected, we can actually imprison ah! Ramu since we haven't actually faced Ramu before. And of course, use thunder attacks. Of course, we don't actually have anything on us that does thunder, so we're gonna have to use items for this one. Let's use electro marbles, just because they're. I'm pretty weak. Ow! Wow, that hurt. First try, I'll take it. And we get the wrong memento. One of the Pleiades seven. His judgment bill reduces everything to ash. His mortal enemy, therefore, must be a pile of ash. Because, well, what can he do to it? And this is the unique Ramu. Um, let's leave it with Seraphine. Oh. Alright, now that we've done that... Are we gonna have what we need at the tea room? Really hope so. Okay, tea room. Please have what we need. Um, Good morning. Hi. What now? Whose soul will you touch? 
Aha! I found them. They might have been here before and I just kind of scrolled, didn't see them. Anyway, these are the ones we need to do. But we're gonna do them next time. So, thank you all so much for watching. In the next part, we will take on these intervention quests. Oh boy. Also, might have been we had to, you know, actually get the rumors off Seraphy. That might have been the other trigger that I missed. Oh well. We got him now. We got Ramu. So, hey. Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, Bye. be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So we have, we actually have music here now. Not just tick talk. Yeah. <laughs> be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And subscribe down below if that helps for the channel. And help keep me going and help keep the videos going and all that. Consider checking out my Patreon. Every little bit of support helps. Even a dollar. So, and I don't, can't run ads on YouTube, so. If you really like what I do, please consider supporting it. And of course, if you like to find me on social media, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. So be sure to check that out. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, this is Rune T, signing out.